when taking measures, we need to think small because it will be implement, uh, implanted inside a uh, human body. Uh, and after thinking, we uh, came to the uh, we came to the idea that those are the most uh, compatible ones. Now, here, as you can see, uh, three uh, pictures of a 3D printed turbine system, which is similar to ours. You can see the turbine, and uh, you also can see its case. Uh, so now, when uh, when we have uh, all our data that we need, now we can all we need to do is explain how it works. So this is the scheme where you can see a uh, working system. This is the blood direction, blood from this way. And we're using bypass model, which is a uh, well-known and uh, often used uh, medical procedure uh, for medical issues. And uh, it's not it's not so risky because. Uh, it's so, uh, doctor, you, doctor do that all the time. So, basically, uh, you took an artery from your leg uh, to make a bypass, and blood flows into the artery, into the bypass, and it continues flowing into the titanium tube. So, how this connection works? The diameter of the artery is one millimeter smaller than the diameter of our titanium tube. So, basically, uh, artery is just, uh, end of the artery is just placed in the <coughs> of Titanium tube and and it's sealed by medical glue, which is, which is really strong glue, and it's usually used by these kind of procedures. So the blood just flows to the artery, to the titanium tube, it spins the wheel of the turbine, and just go the flow back into the aorta and the rest of the blood system. Okay, so uh, once you have the mechanical energy, we need to start thinking how we convert it to electrical energy, and we do that by using a generator. Now, um, many devices this small in the medical industry use DC current, so we needed a DC generator. Now, any motor can use this generator if you use drive. So we took a small, so we found a small DC generator uh, that uh, is suitable for our needs. Now there is one uh, problem that we had to face, and it's uh, that blood doesn't flow uh, constantly, it comes in pulses. So there will be pulses of electricity, and we need to convert it into constant flow of, uh, um, of electricity. So uh, we use the capacitor uh, to, to do that, and it also solves the problem, the problem of uh, battery overloading. So what to do with this energy? Uh, we focused on charging a uh, battery in a pacemaker with energy because a um, pacemaker requires only 10 uh, microwatts of uh, electrical power and our uh, system produces enough. Uh, well, pacemaker is a device that simulates the heart and it's uh, used uh, by over uh, 3 million people. Uh, so um, we would connect our device, uh, our generator, uh, to the capacitor and then to the battery of the, um, of the pacemaker with uh, nanowires that are made from zinc oxide that uh, has been already um, tested um, in different um, projects. So, um, and also we can um, use this energy uh, uh, because the, our generator produces uh, enough energy for the pacemaker and the rest of the energy can also be um, used for charging other devices that can be implanted in human bodies such as blood pressure sensors, drug delivery pumps or neural stimulators. Okay, so pacemaker batteries should be replaced um, between 4 to 15 years, but uh, in, our system, in our device it shouldn't be replaced at all because the battery it, it, it is uh, constantly charged and uh, therefore there is no need to go through um, uh, multiple surgeries and um, the life of the users of the pacemaker is uh, it was improved. And uh, to sum up all our work, um, uh, the, we use the blood flow in order to spin the tripping. By that we get electricity and um, there is no need to uh, replace the battery because it is, it is constantly charged and uh, the life are improved for uh, all the pacemaker users um, and uh, now we are talking about uh, the price of, uh, of our device so um, our device is very efficient and profitable uh, we're talking about uh, one, 100 and 
twenty um, dollars, and uh, this is very small amount of money for what you get. You're getting like your life is getting better, and you're just uh, and it's, your life is improved. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, for, for the last time, we want to just to thank all the all the people that helped us. Uh, our mentors that are constantly advise us, and uh, the whole organization who actually invited us to, uh, and they give us the opportunity to make our project. And the last one <laughs> is this: we we need to focus on this thought. The real energy we don't need uh, outside uh, source of energy. The real energy is just in our heart, in our souls. So this is the last one. <laughs> Not a question. Where do you think iPads, iPods, um, all those elements connected? Like, <laughs> not, not loud enough? Where are the iPads, iPods, and all those um, music elements that are getting connected to your system? That's the future. <laughs> <laughs> That's the future. That's, that's, that's uh, smart person. Yeah, the speed up. Yeah, because the amount of energy we produce is not enough to okay. charge a mobile phone. But it's really useful because if we're talking of the, the people, uh, the people who have some <coughs> issues, they have a pacemaker, and they, if, if they need far away from hospital, mm -hmm. they will need constantly going from checks to change battery. That's uh, that surgery, and by putting a turbine into their system, uh, that's a procedure that will be do the surgery, uh, putting a turbine, and the putting a pacemaker, pacemaker will be do, doing the same time. Mm -hmm. Uh, they just need to go on um, not so often, so not so often into hospital. Uh, so it's profitable for them because they're not far away from hospital. Uh, we can also measure the blood pressure and uh, the gluten in our blood, and we can use it for many other um, medical purposes. The turbine doesn't. Uh, the blood flow. No, because it's a bypass model. That uh, that was our first one. Where to put the turbine? Uh, the turbine is in the bypass, and so if the turbine stops working, it will not affect on the regular blood system because it's outside. Okay. Would would it see people that have artery problems, not pace problems, but um, like strict getting their arteries preferred strict out? Uh, yes. Among cholesterol yes, it would because uh, we are talking. We are not uh, adding any more uh, blood pressure or reducing blood pressure because the body will just uh, like uh, uh, maintain itself. And but like, will it build up inside? Is there a risk of building up in the turbine? In the turbine. No. In the turbine no. I have two comments and one question. <laughs> <laughs> one comment: You never go to hospital and. The cost is only one hundred twenty dollars. <laughs> Just entering into the hospital costs you more. So what you calculate is probably are the materials and yes, the, yes, and yes, the device, but the, the implanting it in the body costs much much more. Just just a moment. That's a comment, not okay. yet a question. Another comment: It's not enough to look at the power required power, but also the voltage and the current. And you have to check probably it's okay that your device is able to provide the needed current and the right voltage or enough voltage. But here's a question. Wouldn't it be much easier to put the battery outside, outside of the body and just connect it by wires to the pacemaker and then you can treat the battery outside, you can replace it easily, you can use other sources of energy rather than implanting invasively uh, such a charging device, a charging to turbine. But we are moving, right? And if the battery is outside, you can damage it by, by some movement, by some motion. It's very easy to protect. Why don't they do it today? But then it's I don't know. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know the answer. I don't know the Complicated. <coughs> I'm not sure. Okay, 
the no, input no, the pacemaker should, should be internal, but the battery should the be. Battery and then you have wires coming out of your body. Yeah, it, and, and it's, it's much more. Okay. You need to trouble. charge with something. And with the turbine is a source of energy. If it's in the inside, you don't have a source. How will it work with a bikini? Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> can you go to my like eighth, please? Okay. How, how can you guarantee that the blood will, will flow through the, through the bed rest? Uh, because that's a specific of fluid. Because we need to um, fill all the empty spaces. Because that, that just a characteristic of fluids in general. It fills a lot of these spaces and pulses doesn't move uh, only in, uh, in, one one, in one direction. It, it, uh, it will go uh, inside the, the uh, bypass and uh, move the tube. Thank you very much. <laughs>